So this is absolutely hilarious. So this is some analysis from MSNBC on the day of the Iowa election. And what ended up happening was is there was no information released. You know, when you see this, I don't know what the status is going to be at the time of the release of this video. I'm not sure. Uh, it's kind of up in the air. It's supposed to come out today, but who knows at this point. I'm not really sure. So uh, I actually had done a video covering Chris Matthews basically saying that, yeah, Bernie's going to win Iowa. He knew it. And I think he won as well. Now, here he's just going to have a complete breakdown, and he's going to be so sad because he's really worried about Bernie Sanders. This is hilarious. What are my thoughts? I'm not happy. I'm not happy with this field. I think they got to find a candidate for president that could be Trump. And you don't think anybody in this field I'm looking. Be Trump? I'm still looking. Still looking. What's the problem? Obvious problems. They're all problems. Bernie Sanders is not going to be president of the United States. Okay? okay. I went back to the 72 race. I was a young volunteer for the DNC. I was working for a senator from Utah at the time. I've got to tell you, it feels a lot like it. A lot of giddiness, a lot of excitement, a thrill about this guy. You're saying a lot like McGovern? Well, exactly, because he was very excited. He excited the party completely, blew away a really good candidate like Muskie, a really good guy. He blew him right out of the water because he had some issues. Now, analytically, I think a couple things have happened. One is Warren was riding high. I thought she was going to sweep through everything. I should first too easily and just keep going. She was the one candidate I thought could do that. What happened? She got a lot of scrutiny. A lot, you don't want a lot of scrutiny, and she got a lot of it. Does this stuff add up, the Medicare for all, the free college? All that stuff got killed. And guess who's going to get it now? Bernie's going to get it now. Bernie's going to ride high, and he's finally going to get scrutiny about his whole life, his ideology, his whole life, who do he root for all his life. Who is this guy ideologically? It's not just a nice, good stuff like health care. Why, why does he say the stuff he does about Maduro and people like that? Why does he say Denmark one week and then somebody else? I mean, I, people got to figure out who the guy is. Yeah. I think I know because I've, I've dealt with these guys most of my adult life. They're usually the guys at the card tables at, at an air war rally. There'll be there some guy, old guy with some old literature from this socialist party or that, trying to sell it, trying to latch on to the anti war movement. There's always guys like that. And they're usually, you know, as, as Howard Fine once said, non negotiable demands, you know, yelling up at the administration building during the anti war movement. I know them, but I think the country's going to get to know them. I think we got a problem. We'll see. But, you know, nobody's going to say it tonight. They're all going to be cheering. Good old Bernie. You know, I think I think he's going to win big tonight. Real. So he just has a full on mental breakdown there. of Like, oh, my God, Bernie Sanders is going to win. This is absolutely horrible. This is horrifying. Now, there's I mean, just there's so much to talk about there. First of all, I mean, you can't really help but just laugh when he goes all the way back to 1972. I have no idea about the election of 1972. Just to be full, uh, you know, full uh, full disclosure on that, I actually don't know about the 72 election or what he's talking about here. But, um, honestly, like, we can go back so much closer, just as recent as 2016. I would much rather go off of uh, 2016, an election that just happened four years ago, um, in comparison to one that happened, like, 50 years ago. You know, I think that that's just better. Um, I think Chris Matthew clearly... Uh, is not a fan of Bernie Sanders. Now, I don't know where the confusion really stems from. I mean, it's pretty clear, you know, he's somebody who's a social Democrat. And actually, I find it funny when he brings up Maduro because Bernie will talk about how he doesn't like Maduro and how he's doing bad stuff. And then uh, someone like a Jimmy Jor or some of those more hardcore Bernie supporters are going to get really angry about that stuff. So another case of where, like, Bernie can't seem to really, like, please everybody no matter what he does. But he's not even like this big Maduro defender. It's really weird to me that he would even say that. But even if it was like the idea of like not wanting to overthrow someone else, meaning you agree with their ideology, is pretty hilarious to me. Um, and yeah, he always brings up Denmark and the Scandinavian countries now. I personally still wish that he had not used the phrase democratic socialist because that's wrong. He's not a democratic socialist. He's a social democrat. And so... When you take out that word socialism, this is accurate, by the way. He's not being, like, deceptive. You know, he's a social democrat, right? He wants to model himself after the Scandinavian countries. And I believe it was, like, the Danish president or something like that had come out saying, hey, we're not socialists. We are a uh, social democrat, you know? Um, and he's right. He's right because they are social democrat. And so I do think he messed up doing that. I think he messed up big time uh, doing that. So there's a debate out there on that one. That's where I stand personally. You may differ in agreement. Maybe because you're a socialist. I don't know. But that's not uh, definitely uh, my opinion on that. And it's hilarious to watch him just have like this breakdown here. I mean, and he does know that Bernie was going to do well. And again, don't know what the results are of the Iowa caucus, unfortunately, because 
Looks like the DNC is trying to rig it against Bernie, unfortunately, once again. But we are going to figure this out. Um, and there were a lot of funny points. And then I have to tell you, man, Bernie Sanders is the candidate to defeat Donald Trump. All of our data shows that. All of our reasonable analysis shows that he's going to pick up the Rust Belt. So even if he loses Ohio and Florida, he could still win just by repicking, but just by retaking the Rust Belt, which is what Bernie Sanders is going to do. So the reason why I think Chris Matthews doesn't like him is because uh, he's actually left wing. You know, he's somebody who's anti-war, as he says. I like how he just scoffs at the idea of being anti-war, which is hilarious. Um, but he's probably gonna, I feel like Chris Matthews has a lot of money and he probably makes a lot of money and it doesn't look like he wants to pay his taxes. So, or he doesn't want to pay higher taxes. He doesn't want to pay his taxes under a Bernie admin. So that's what seems to be the biggest thing for me here. The biggest takeaway for me, um, in terms of what Chris Matthews is saying here. So, uh, just, I mean, it's just kind of relishing and centrist tears essentially is what's going on here, but it, it was awesome.